This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got my good friend Liz Steinberg back. Well, not back. You, it's your first time here. It's my very first time here. We're yes. going to talk about uh, the Station Theatre and the Smith Falls Community Theatre, and you're not a stranger to them. No, not at all. No. Mm -hmm. How long have you been with them? I've been with them, well, probably oh, uh, since, its, since its beginning, and that would have been... Um, I don't know, maybe 20 years. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's been yeah. a long, long time. I know we've, sa we've said your name here a few times uh, because you've been involved in all sorts of plays, either acting, the, you're directing the one we're going to talk about yes, today. Yes, yes. Yeah, and and th this is my first time directing, so I've never direct. I've directed a play when I used to teach, but that was many, many moons ago. So this is my first time directing children really? and adults. Yes. Okay, yes, and it's children and adults, too. Yes, yes. And it's uh, Christmas, it's a uh, fun time of year, too, so yes. it's called The Best Christmas Pageant Ever. Let's talk about it. What's it about? Well, it's about a, uh, a, ch a small town church, and the uh, chief organizer at the church, Helen Armstrong. She organizes everything from potluck dinners to the Christmas pageant. And right before Christmas, she breaks her leg, so she's no longer able to do this. So she's delegating people to uh, do all the different activities. And she gets a young mother to come in and uh, uh, produce, direct the Christmas pageant. Mm -hmm. So she tells her that there are uh, certain parts that everybody must take. Anyways, what ends up happening is the um, town's most notorious uh, family of children, they hear that the uh, play, that the church is offering free snacks and drinks, so they decide to muscle their way into the Christmas pageant and they bully their way into all of the prime roles. All right. And when that happens, um, the Christmas pageant takes a whole new twist. And it is that time of year <laughs> yes. that uh, it, it ends on uh, a good Christmas feel. Oh, it sure does. Yes. It sure does. It turns out that they, uh, even though they do smoke and swear and do lots of things, um, they end up understanding the true meaning of Christmas more than the kids that have usually done the pageant. Okay, now this is your first time directing too, and you've taken on uh, a, a play with lots of children in it too. <laughs> yes, yes. So it's been a lot of fun. It's been, a, it, it's been, we have a really great cast, but it's been a challenge because a lot of the children have gotten sick, and so we haven't had full practice, uh, full cast for practices. But you know what? We've all worked together, and we're going to make it work, and it'll be a lot of fun because the kids are. They're enthusiastic. The adults are, are wonderful to work with. So the play is going to turn out just right. And I mean, it's nice to have the children because, I mean, you and I were talking earlier. You started when you were a child. And That's here we correct. are many years later, and you're still involved. So That's correct. Maybe you're influencing some of those youth up there. Um, maybe. Um, hopefully these, these youth will come on, and they'll, they'll want to continue on, and they will be our future actors down the road. And so. directors. Yes, actors. <laughs> and, and we always need directors. That's for sure. So how did you get to choose the best Christmas? pageant ever that play well it was uh, a play that um, we had had another one that we were going to do and unfortunately we, we couldn't do it and it was a play that my brother had actually uh, 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 directed at the Baptist Church in Smith Falls and m many moons ago when my children who are now 30 they were in I think they were in grade 6 they were in that play and so he said what about doing this play we read it over and uh, decided yeah this is a great play this would be a really fun play to do. Excellent, excellent. Now it's going to be put, you're going to be performing at our Smith Falls, uh, the Station Theatre. Yes. I and mean, we talked about the building itself too, what it's been transformed from and into. It's just amazing. Oh yes, it, it's absolutely beautiful to think that we have uh, this uh, venue here in Smith Falls is, is really, it's a, it's a real jewel in, in the town. And uh, how it transformed, well you know as kids we used to catch the train there and and you know it, what it looked like then to what it looks like now is it's 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 really beautiful. Uh, the people that put it together, we were talking about Pat Smith. I mean, what a vision to be able to take our, our uh, train station and yes, turn it into yes. the theater too. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah, and back when uh, Pat Smith first saw that this is what he wanted to do, and the 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 um, the building was kind of torn back to to. Uh, 
to the walls and it was just I remember looking in where the theater is now and it was just a big hole thinking this is never going to be able to come into fruition and it's it's absolutely beautiful it, it really is we're very lucky to have yes, it here in, yeah. Smith, in Smith Falls too so the dates of your play when are they playing so it is uh, this coming Friday evening Saturday Sunday matinees and then the following Thursday Friday evening Saturday Sunday matinees okay so we're talking December 2nd 3rd and 4th that's correct and then the following weekend the 8th 9th 10th and 11th that's correct yes. excellent excellent so what's more most exciting to you opening night or the last show which one do you <laughs> opening night always has lots of jitters mm -hmm. and uh, that's probably the most nerve-wracking is opening night you really enjoy the last show. The last show is, is lots of fun to do. It's kind of a letdown because you've worked so hard to, to uh, make the show happen, and then it's your last time to, to do it, and that's kind of a letdown, but it's still lots of fun. It is, yes, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. And tickets are available? Tickets are available online. They're also, you can call to the Station Theater and then uh, drop into um, Ka uh, Catherine's store, Catherine Coleman's store, which which is a nice special right, greeting. Special greeting. Special greeting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right there on Russell Street. That's so she'll have the tickets yes. there for you too. And you can you can try and wait until the last night. And hopefully you, you, you have, can. You yeah. can buy you can buy them uh, at the theater the night of. But sometimes uh, the, these shows do show uh, do sell out. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't advise doing that. I'd buy them ahead of time. I'll bet you with this many children in it, they've got lots of friends and family that it's going to take it, all those performances to get them all in. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The, especially ones with children in it, they always sell out. Yeah, and it's, it's amazing how many plays you guys put on every year. It's just like, okay, you're going to be finished with this one, and then you've got the next one ready to go. Yes, that's right. Well, we actually ha are auditioning next week for the upcoming performance of Harvey. Of Harvey? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be awesome. So. We'll have to have somebody back in here and talk about that yes. one, too. Yes, yeah. Right now, though, it's the best... Christmas pageant ever, and that's playing right now. And you're one of the you're one of the directors. That's right. Brittany Wessler is the other director, and uh, she was unable to be here today. Oh well, thank you for joining us today, Liz Steinberg uh, from the good old Chimo days. That's where we met, <laughs> and, and here we are. How many years later? <laughs> I think it's only ten. I think it's about that. Yes, yes, for sure, for sure. Thanks for joining us today and uh, putting on a play for the Christmas spirit too. This year is. Uh, a wonderful, well, Christmas is always a wonderful time of year, too. So, okay, thank so you do you this for, for our children, too? Awesome. Thank you for having me.